we are at the site of the, it's going to be the turntable at the top of the mountain division. There's the telephone pole here. There's the house down there. The turntable will be right here at the base of the little telephone pole. Anyway, here's the track. I'll put some rail in so we can get an idea how the long this is really. These are about, these are a lot of these are 12 foot rails. Some are 10. About every six steps for me is about 10 feet. I have to clear brush as needed. my engine down there right by that ballast loader, the yellow thing down there, the black thing in the background is my engine. So we're coming around here, this is a, a back above my house here, there's a house down there. This place is called Black Rock. All these weird rocks around here. We're going to wind up down there by the container, which is next to the little house there. And we'll go around past that white truck. Keep going here. We're going to get a double track here. It's going to be the Hagelin siding, named after my grandfather, his last name. And double track along here is relatively flat. Coming down. Now we're right behind the house. I'm down by the truck now. Right here we're going to go to double track. It's going to be called Tatchby. And uh, we're in a big loop here. We're going to double track around the loop. This will be Tatchby siding. And we're just above the house here. Just above the container still. See the track coming across in front of us there, off to the, to the left. It actually came down that hill on the upper level up there, down around behind the truck, down around this curve, now into the foreground onto this track, behind the truck, and all the way around the loop. I'm right back to where we're at. And keep coming down. There's really big S curves and big loops up there on the mountain division. It's a next door neighbor's house. Uh, nobody who's living there at the moment. But uh, wh whoever moves in is just going to have to love steam, I guess. Or at least a whistle. And you come down here. 
cut across the driveway twice here. And now we're back down to the container. And then come across the other driveway and lead back into the main track. And that's the track that goes from the container. We're just going to keep on going downhill as far as we can. We came all the way down from the top of the corner of the property by the telephone poles. This is the summit. This is summit on the main line. And then, I don't know, it was a little sharp curves here to have triple track and all this stuff I had here. This is still called Mountain View. The single track through here. And then we'll go to double track down here. And this will be Juniper siding. It's a lot more, uh, the grade's more forgiving and there's more room and it's more believable as far as the curvature and stuff. So it'll be double track to Juniper instead. And then back on single track. Now we're below the house and below the car. We're still going down. Okay, this is the switch that's going to the reverse track. It connects back in a loop to change your direction. And I moved it down so it's more of a believable grade. And now we're down here at Lone Pine. And if we pan over from Lone Pine, there's the train on the main. And then that, there's two telephone poles in the background. The shorter one there to the right, that's where we started from. So we'll keep coming down here. And this is going to be Quail Valley. It's going to be the lowest part of the railroad. Double track here with a station spur and a little station built right here. And then looking up. The rail started way at the telephone pole up there and wraps its way all the way down around behind the houses and the container all the way down to here. Too much fun.